Alrighty, we got another Mickey Flanagan video. Oh, yeah. Be- between him and Al Murray, I think we're probably watching like the highest level of of like British comedians, of UK comedians. So um his accent gets me though. I'll yeah, be honest. Yeah, his accent's kind of funny. Oh, it's yeah. good. Yeah, it, it's not like that rugged, rough. Like Al Murray has that rough UK, like yeah. heavy accent, whereas he's a little, a little higher pitched. But um this is useless men and drunk women. What's worse? Useless mm, men no. or drunk nah, women. Useless men. Yeah. There's nothing worse than a useless. Because you could be drunk, you know, at the moment. And yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know what twist is gonna take though. So yeah, let's hundred percent. Let's see what the fuck he's talking about. Talk to me, Mickey. Because there are young men in this room who don't realise what men of my age have had to put up with. We've seen everything change. We caught the fag end of when men were in charge. Properly in charge. I've got a pair of bollocks and a day job. I must be in charge. <laughs> they used to walk about doing nothing. <laughs> wearing their pants. They come home, they put the money on the table. And they walked about in their pants. <laughs> <laughs> My old man did nothing. If he shut a cupboard door, he thought he was helping out. <laughs> shut that door for you, Sylvie. <laughs> I'm going down to the pub for a week. <laughs> That's bad. That's every dad, bro. <laughs> That's where men could go down the pub without asking. Man had the right to go down the pub. My oh, man would be sitting there in his big chair. We're all lined up on the sofa like that. My mum's up on Nutton Valium over there. <laughs> you know what day it is. <laughs> and he's sitting there. Yeah, he's the old needing line would come on. <laughs> and he'd look at us and go, fuck that. <laughs> Straight out the door. What did he say to her? <laughs> If you want to go down the pub now as a man, you've got to ask. You've got to be considerate. If you want to go out Friday, you've got to take a long run up. <laughs> Yo, that's fact, uh, bro. Shit. Yeah. It's different with a girl or wife, man. Yeah, like, bro. you got, you literally have to plan the bullshit you're going to feed her <laughs> yeah. to have her let you go out. <clears throat> and yep. it's still like an 80% fail rate. You want to yep. tell us about your story? Um, I come in with a game plan. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes? Sometimes. Most of the time. What, no, what's I've the had, percentage? I've had some, I've, what's the I've won some battles. I've won some battles. <laughs> battles. And you guys could fucking say something and say yes. I've won some fucking battles. You've won it, it, some, but you always lose the war in the end, though. Because you always hear the well, shit, regardless. Yeah. See, they always go, yeah, babe, you can go. It's fine. And then the next day you come, they're like, I can't believe you went. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Bro, as a man, it's a lose-lose. Always a lose-lose. Especially right. if you come home too late. <laughs> it's a different and drunk out game. of your mind and throwing up on yourself. It, <laughs> babe, you want to talk about it? No, I'm good. Story for another time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's for Patreon. If you want to go out Friday, you got to take a long run up. <laughs> yep. You've got to start weighing her up Monday, Tuesday. <laughs> Where is she? How is she in herself? Because <laughs> this is the key to a woman. You'll see women say to each other, how are you in yourself? <laughs> the men stand there, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's fact. Because a woman will go through changes through the night even. She goes to bed all right. She wakes up in the morning. She looks in the mirror and she's out. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm only having a fat, ugly day. <laughs> And she comes and finds you to tell you. <laughs> you land on the set, eh? Trying to watch the planet's funniest animals. She comes and gets in your face. Look at me. <laughs> Look at me. I'm having a fat, ugly day here. You're not trained for this stuff. Nope. You don't know what to say. Well, don't go out then. <laughs> Don't say that. Come away from that window. <laughs> Yo. We'll never sell the ass. Come away from the window. <laughs> oh, fuck. Because a man's got a decision to make. What sort of a woman he's going to end up with? 
in the sexual arena. It's very varied. Women have got a huge sexual range, because you'll meet a woman, she's fantastic in bed. Do what you like, sort yourself out, son. <laughs> <laughs> but what runs parallel with this, she's fucking mental. Yeah. <laughs> to attack. Uh, uh, <laughs> She's got her own mood swing in the front garden. You don't know what's going on. It's an epidemic. But you're thick as shit. <laughs> you're a man. You're getting good sex. You start thinking, mm, I'll get myself a stab proof vest. <laughs> Crash helmet. I'm going to get one of them taser sticks. <laughs> Keep her up. <laughs> But then you meet a nice one, kind, caring, can't do enough for you. She says, do you want a sandwich? Do you want a sandwich, babe? You don't want a sandwich. Well, when do you want your sandwich? But she's useless in bed. She's having none of it. Don't point that at me. Who do you think you are, a porn star? Put it away. <laughs> You felt thinking, well, she does make a nice sandwich. <laughs> I like a sandwich. <laughs> Maybe I could see a prostitute a couple of times here. <laughs> yeah! And the alcohol thing has changed <laughs> everything as well, because women used to be taken out every now and then. Do you want to come out, babe? You know, just <laughs> sit there laughing at all my stupid jokes. <laughs> you know, she got a few little, uh, I don't know, a Dubonnet or something. <laughs> And the man got tanked up and she had to worry about him. Whereas now, it's gone right the other way. Thank God women have said, you know what, you're getting drunk, I'll fucking show you how to get drunk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank God for it. So you go to a party with a friend there, having a little chat. What's, yeah, well, yeah, no, he's, he got it in the night, the geezer, then. <laughs> Someone comes over and says, God, the wife's had a few, ain't she? <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> you walk down the hallway, have a look in the front room, she's off her nut. <laughs> she's dancing up there. Come on, everyone! Let's have a conga! She's trying to get the garden door open. She thinks it's 1972. And you go over, you go, do you think you should slow down a bit, love? Shut up. <laughs> I'm enjoying nah. myself. Come and have a dance like for me. This. Come on. Yep. <laughs> the wine consumption is what's done it. The wine industry have convinced women this is not a drink to enjoy with a meal. <laughs> no. <laughs> Start banging away nice and early with this. <laughs> right. It's 12% proof. What harm could happen? <laughs> turned up to a party with a can of special brew, questions would be asked. Well, that was... <laughs> All right, let me. But women, oh, up half seven, boss, that's your first one. <laughs> Two or three before they leave the house, then they get there, couple of chilled bottles of wine, bang, bang, yeah. here we go. Looks sophisticated at half seven. Ooh! <laughs> Gillian's drinking Pinot Noir! <laughs> <laughs> But at half one in the morning, when you're holding her little hand, and she's crouched over a drain, <laughs> pulling her knickers to one side, <laughs> pissing like a camel, <laughs> giving you a hard time. What'd you let me drink all that wine for? No. It's got white foam in that Pinot Noir. <laughs> What year was it? <laughs> it's great though, it's great that we've got to that point. And you get her home. She gets a second wind. Ooh, come upstairs, come and sort me out upstairs. Uh. Oh no. But you go up and you jump on because you're a good man. <laughs> <laughs> and then you hear in the darkness. I'm going to be sick. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> it's a dilemma for a man. <laughs> you don't have to hurry up or go and get a bowl. You don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> no. You 
you at? Oh, where you yeah, at? Get oh, the fuck. Shit. Hey man, I four, think that was his best video. The, what, we've only <laughs> seen this two or three. Oh, okay, so far four words. Holy shit! Hallelujah! This right here is every man's experience. It is. Uh, you know what's worse than with that? When she comes home after a girls' night out <laughs> and she's all buzzed up, and you hear the door close, and you're still awake because you were playing video games until she came home, and then she goes, "It's time for," you know what it's time for. Right. Just, just what he said. Yeah. It's time to sort me out. Demon mode. They come on demon timing, bro. And you're not ready. You know, you just spent five <laughs> I, I was hours. Call of Duty. <laughs> you just spent five hours raging at you know, twelve year olds over the <laughs> <Yeah>. fucking Xbox. <laughs> and now I got. You know what I'm saying? Nah, bro. It's Jeez. a hard. It's a hard job being nah, a guy, bro. bro. Thank you. They don't appreciate Imagine, it, bro. Yo. And let me tell you something, by the way. When they get drunk, bro, it's worse than when we get drunk. Oh yeah, bro. Have you seen? He's sp- bro. They get crazy. Yeah, it's like bro. the rules, and you know, because we if guys get drunk and they start, you know, whatever, it's like, all right, guys, calm down. If they yeah. do it, you're just like, ah, it's woman heaven. Yeah, exactly. And then they start a problem with another dude, and then you got to take care of it. <laughs> that's what. That's <laughs> it's like, hi. Yeah. They get that delusional confidence that even you let's do something. Like, let's on, say bro. she fucked with like a group of ten girls, and now those ten girls want to beat her. You got to sit there and like wrap your girl up and take all the hits for you know what I mean. You got ten girls beating the shit out of you. Nah, bro, it's a hard job. Yeah. It's a hard job being a man. Um, a hundred percent. I think that was the most relatable video we've we've seen from him. Yeah. That's a fact. So far. Probably any comedian, to be honest. No, yeah. yeah. You know what else I think it is too? The first video I had, I I struggled with with his accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's hard. Even here, it's hard to under. And then you're like, oh, okay, that's what he's. Yeah. You start picking it up. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. speaks fast, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that accent is it's not the typical, uh, <clears throat> you know, British accent that we're used to. So I'm just that's glad it's the same over there as it is over here. I feel like Only two types of women. Two type of women. That's <clears throat> crazy <throat> and boring. <laughs> <laughs> he's right. No it's in either, between. It's either the no in between. No in between. No in between. No in between. Because then that's perfect. Yeah, exactly. Because let's say she's great in bed and she also makes you food. She's fucking another guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, the, the, no, How'd she gets so good. How'd she get so good? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So there's, there's, there's no in between. Same thing for men anyway. So whatever. Um, this is good. Guys, let us Nikki know. Flanagan. Nikki Flanagan. Let, yeah, leave uh, other you know recommendations from him down below. Obviously, we're giving him a watch. Got a bunch of stuff to go through, so keep firing them away. Discord is in the link description as well. Um, we're gonna be, you know, we're gonna be trying to build that up over the next couple of weeks. So please, uh, just you know, feel free to join us there. Patreon's down below. If you guys want to watch our peep show reactions, brassic reactions, and movie, we got Borat on there. We're probably gonna have Bruno by the time this is all posted. Um, and yeah, it's up to the channel. Right. Oh, let's go. Pull up. I think we deserve a couple of stuff. Yeah, hundred percent. You know? uh, it's been Why a not? it's been a wild couple of weeks. I'll be honest. Like the past Yo, three, four weeks have been. You guys have been showing us an insane Yo. amount of support. Crazy. Yo. So fifty k by the end of the year. Madness. What's good? Fifty k by December thirty first. Fifty k. All right. Fifty k so? by December thirty first. I think we could do it. I think they could do it. What are we at? November eighteenth, as we speak. Yeah. It's gonna be a tough one. It's gonna be a tough. One. I have to make a community post. Got us to 50K by the end of the year. Yo, we'll road see. to 50K by December 31st. Road to 50K. Road At 100K, 50. we got a surprise. Well, it's not a really surprise. We told you guys. We're coming to the fucking UK. So 100K, make it happen. Make it happen.